Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the 5th to the 11th of August 2019. I hope you are Libra. So we have five cards at the top, all clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. We have the past, the pe present, challenges if you have any, advice from tarot and outcome have also turned over the bottom of the deck, Libra. We have a reading card and also an angel card as well. So let's look at the past position. So we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Five of Swords and we have the Seven of Cups. The Queen of Wands, this is, it could be a person in your life, it could be in any aspect and it can be male or female. Remember, it is a general reading. The Queen of Wands is generally a cardinal energy, the card of Aries, but it can also represent general fire, so Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. So there might well be a situation, maybe conflict in some way, that happened with a fire sign Libra. Now, we have this Five of Swords energy. This can talk about conflict. Now, in the past, there could have been external conflict, but I feel whatever conflict happened in this situation, this is a victory card, but it comes at a cost. It comes at sacrificing something or losing something in some way. You see, these people are turning their back on this victor um, because this victor has taken their swords off them. So they're defeated, but something's broken. It could be broken communication, it could be broken friendships, it could be broken um, relationships at work. Uh, it, it can be a number of things, but obviously this is very much about a victory that comes at a cost. So generally when the Five of Swords appears, it says choose your battles wisely. And the Seven of Cups is about your hopes, dreams, desires. This is a card of Venus in Scorpio, so these opportunities are transformational. But for some reason, there's confusion. And I just feel, if you have had conflict in the past, Libra, this is very much... It could have left you with internal conflict as well, because this card can also talk about conflict within your mind, certainly. Negativity that's still owning you in some way. And it might well be that mist here is really about that well, how that negativity can cloud you from really reaching to move forward and making opportunities happen. This mist is very much when our emotions can get in the way of real opportunity and progression. So there is real promise. There's real promise to move on in this situation. This person has hopes, dreams, ambitions, where they want to go. Uh, but there's something here about conflict holding you back. Now, as an energy, the Queen of Wands is also somebody who knows her own strengths. Um, she's very instinctive. She makes instinctive choices. She very trusts. Her, she very much trusts her primal instincts. Um, she, she's a natural uh, entrepreneur in that respect. She's a natural go-getter uh, because it comes instinctively to her very much represented by that cat here. There is something about know your own strength to move forward in this situation now. Um, certainly as an energy, you have more power than you think to move forward and you know really change the situation for the better. But yeah, there could be something about instinctive choices to really move forward. But I think some of you, this could be about confusion, having doubts, things not being as clear as, as they may maybe have been in the past. So let's see what the present. So in the present, we have the devil energy. We have the six of pentacles and we have the knight of pentacles. So the devil energy is a card of Capricorn. And I feel for some of you, you feel powerless in a situation. This can talk about unhealthy relationships. This can talk about... Sometimes it can talk about when we don't feel that we're in control of a situation, that we're being managed like puppets on a string. 
can be a loss of power in a situation. Devil energy is an illusion. Um, and, and it is about seeing through the illusion in order to move forward, Libra. Because these lovers, you see, this is actually from the lover's card. These are the lovers. And the, you see these chains, how they're so loose. These people could easily release the chains and walk away from the devil energy. But they stay. And the longer they stay, you see, they start to grow horns. The, it kind of says that when negativity creeps in, when you allow conflict to own you, you can fall deeper and deeper into that power as well. This is also an internal illusion, but it could be somebody in your external life, can be an imbalance in a love relationship, can also be an unhealthy relationship of some kind, whether it's general or, or in love, can also be an imbalance of power, somebody manipulating you for their own ends. That could be in any aspect, including career. So yeah, very much about seeing through the illusion with that devil energy. And we have this divine energy here. This is the Hierophant, the young Hierophant, imparting wisdom, and his wisdom is of value. Uh, it can talk about the fact that you may well be given advice. This is about saying your peace, Libra, but it's also about listening to people. Maybe there's somebody in your life who is advising you, maybe to move away from this kind of situation. Now, this can also be where you might get that divine gift of some kind. You may well get uh, things turning for the better. This can very much be about to get balance back in your life. This is where we, we link between the seen and the unseen of, of the, the divine God, the universe. And there's opportunity to get balance back in your life by allowing yourself maybe to see the value of you, by allowing yourself to reconnect with your higher self in some way. But this is very much about maybe receiving some wisdom, some honest advice from somebody as well. Or maybe, you know, that divine message could come to you from any way, any place. Um, can very much be about, you know, reading the signs in order to move forward. There's an opportunity to get balance back in your life. And this is a sign of you coming back to you, Libra, in some way. But there's something about give and take. It can be about be open to receive the gifts from the universe as well. Uh, maybe where you've given so much, maybe with that devil energy here, maybe it's time for you now to receive your reward. The Knight of Pentacles can be an offer or an opportunity. It's been a long time coming. The Knight, is, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest of all the Knights, but he's also the most solid. He's also the most stable. It's not something that's going to give way under your feet. This is something, this is building a solid future, solid foundations. So... Maybe you felt in stagnation for a period of time. You know, that can certainly feel like that devil energy and that negativity is consuming you a little bit. But there's a glimmer of hope. There's a real opportunity now for the beginnings of growth and expansion, an opportunity to move on. So very much uh, definitely an opportunity here. Uh, and I think it is just being ready to receive now, Libra. Um, maybe having been consumed by this devil energy for a period there's an opportunity to get balance in your life and it's about being open to receive the gift maybe that the divine god the universe is bringing you now we have in your challenges i feel some of you have had challenges to bring an end to a situation the world card can be about major endings, cycles finishing. It can be about breakthroughs. It can be about stepping into a new phase of your life. Uh, and this person looks back on the journey that they've made, but they're ready to step into their new phase of their life, the next cycle. And it, this person looks back, remembering that they've overcome challenges, but it's also asking you to remember, to learn from the lessons of the past. Now... I am feeling that quite strongly, certainly with this energy, with the Hierophant as well. 
learning the lessons of the past, Libra. It is really wholeheartedly heart, mind and soul being aware of what you've learnt in the past in order to really move forward now, um, in order to make that breakthrough, break through old cycles, in order to come through the other side and move forward. The Knight of Wands is about real progression and also opportunity. The Knights can be about finding direction again, finding movement, finding, yeah, finding progression in your life. Uh, and this is allowing yourself to move on from a situation that may have kept, kept you bound for a period of time, may have kept you encaged for a period of time. The Knight of Wands can also be an opportunity. So there could be real endings, major endings, in order to move on. Maybe allowing endings to happen, Libra in order to move forward. But it's almost kind of like that Saturnian energy is almost saying, have you learnt the lessons of the past? If you're repeating, if you find yourself continually repeating or, or things continually happening the same way in relationships or the same way in a work or career aspect or in money, whatever aspect it is, Libra, this is kind of a sign, certainly the world energy is to say, have you really learnt what that journey was trying to tell you in order to really move forward now because otherwise it ends up like groundhog day you just end up repeating the old cycle again and again and again so to really move forward i feel and i'm really feeling that quite strongly it is about really understanding the lessons that the universe is trying to teach you to really grab hold of opportunity to feel more confident to turn things um into you know fast progress here to find direction again yeah there is something about understanding why things happened in the past the way they did in order for you to get to that next level up because the world is about success it's about achievement but it is about understanding where you've been so powerful energies We have, in the advice from Tarot, we have the Ten of Swords, so another ending, and we have the Strength card, a card of Leo. So, we have Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, um, Swords can link to the truth, Swords can link to clarity, Swords also link to the mind as well. And I feel there's been a situation in the past, Libra, that's really owned you. Certainly on your internal world, these dark clouds are what the negativity that has been going on in your mind. Some of you haven't released a situation that probably hurt you deeply. Someone wounded you can be with words. Words can be sometimes our worst weapons. But this can also talk about at people's actions wounding you as well. It says it's time to let that go. It's time to let that new dawn rise. This is the sun in Gemini in order to move on and again very much that world energy card as well allow endings to happen in order to find progress now this is that pivotal point of letting go in order to move on and i can see judgments here so there is something about letting go um releasing you know i do say it's easy to walk away from people isn't it libra but it's harder to walk away from from them internally from to to let go of the hurt inside of us uh, that takes a lot longer to heal but there's an ending here and it says allow something to be over now and you have the power and the strength now the strength card is the strength from within the strength card is where you're recognizing your own power within or you have the opportunity to this lion is classically our thoughts our inner world and this maiden slowly but surely very softly is is getting dominance over that lion her thoughts her inner world and that gives her strength that gives her power it's the internal battle with our demons very much that devil energy with our negativity with our illusions where we deceive ourselves when we allow negativity to own us this is where you have the opportunity to really get control of your inner world in order to to be more powerful, more strong in your external world. So I feel it's a real turning point for you. 
So powerful energies there, but allow yourself to see endings where you need to see endings now because these two cards are right next to each other. Major endings empower you. Now we have here, we have two Hierophants. There is a kind of message when I see the Hierophant. It is, both of these cards are about divine energy. Um, the Hierophant is a card of Taurus, which can represent stability and success, finding solid ground, finding... Um, I kind of feel certainly for some of you finding answers to questions that you've been searching for. This can be where you're being guided. Now, there could be a person in your life, could be a Taurus or somebody else who is giving you advice. I really think some of you are receiving advice on a situation. This is also to say, you know, just because, you know, the, the Hierophant is the, the tangible, visible representation of the unseen so he's the scene of the unseen so god the divine the universe and it's a reminder that you are being guided forward there is now an opportunity to move forward this is real divine guidance at a high level this is also asking you to have faith in yourself it's a reminder to have faith for those of you who are spiritual in your spirituality now to guide you forward is about reading the signs be open to receive i feel some of you certainly with that judgment energy this can be i feel this can be about for though i i just feel that um, this is karmic this is karma and i am feeling what's coming into my mind is karmic debt being paid in some way as well so I don't know whether that means anything to some of you. The judgment card is also a time to stand up and be reckoned. It is a time to wipe the slate clean and move forward. And it is about seeing the signs, having faith to do that. I think some of you are being asked to let go of a situation, to forgive where you can forgive in order to move forward now. This is about stepping out of that dark into your own light. It's an awakening. It's an awakening to your true path. It's a sign that good karma is on your side again. It is a sign that it's time to let go of things that you might have been holding on to that may have held you back from moving on, Libra. I'm really feeling that. I think you've been held back. And I think it's been a lot of it, it's been an internal journey. And it's about reconnecting to you, to your faith, to your faith in yourself as well, in really order in in order to move forward. The the hierophant can talk about expansion. It is exp it is, the cross keys can talk about spiritual expansion. And I just feel it's time to see those new horizons. It is time to step up. It's time to go to that next level up. And this is very much that powerful awakening, good karma on your side. After a period of maybe having had troubles in the past. Um, yeah, I just feel this is very much about wiping the slate clean in order to move forward and very much a powerful awakening awaken to your true self awaken to your true capabilities and i think when you do you find the strength from within to really find massive progression in your external world and also opportunity and there is something here about i think you'll see through the illusion of the negativity that's been keeping you stuck you're finding balance again here. But this is very much divine guidance. Yeah. So the card we have is communication. And this is listen carefully, speak clearly and with confidence. We communicate with others using verbal and nonverbal techniques. Our body language listening skills and attitude determine how effective we are as communicators. Miscommunication occurs when we are unable to listen to other people. Arguments, mistakes 
and conflict, conflict occur when we refuse to acknowledge information or negotiate. Spiritual communication is high right now. Take notice of these signs and symbols from the spirit world as they try to connect you. Be open to receive these messages as they come from the heart with love. Right now, you are asked to listen with empathy and understand those around you. So yeah, powerful energies there. And also I think it's being open to listen. It is being open to maybe receive advice where you need to receive advice. But I think also this can be very much about connecting to signs and I think there will be some signs. Certainly with that spiritual, you've got the Hierophant here, you've got the Hierophant here, you've got the Hierophant here, you've got judgment here. I mean, this is powerful stuff, Libra, um, of a divine nature. So I think you're being really guided forward now. So the first card we have is signs. I mean, that's true. I do feel that you will be sent signs and that can come in the form of, um, you know, uh, some people see white feathers, some people, you know, hear music, some people see a poster. I mean, it's all of those kind of things. Sometimes it's dreams, sometimes it's just internal thoughts. Uh, but it is about reading the signs in order to move on now. And also know your own power. There's something about having faith in you. Reconnect to yourself. Conquer your inner demons in order to move forward now. Know your own power and your own worth. So I think you're finding answers this week. And I think it's a powerful awakening. So beautiful message there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.